Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So we are gonna clear our backlog, finally 259 on each of the Calamity Island. Let's go ahead. So because we have three different Calamity Islands for today, I think the way I wanna do it is to start off with the easiest one, which is probably going to be the Burning Pillar, uh, followed by the Surging Pillar, and then ending off with the Howling Pillar, which unfortunately has probably one of the most toxic enemies you want to face in the any of the calamity island at all genial is probably genial and ashley's they are probably like the biggest issue from what i've seen thus far as for surging pillar i think it's pretty okay there is a sienna here that's basically you just need to control her or maybe like just if you can't control her just i don't know get rid of all her allies and you should be fine and as for the burning pillar this is probably going to be the easiest one so without further ado let's start with the burning pillar so i'm gonna try to do it as free to play as possible i know this is absolutely not free to play at all but uh it's as free to play as my account is able to handle it right now so uh you guys already kind of know the strat over here we are just going to blow things up with the ambler i think ambler is super important and obviously if she was sub R6, uh, she wouldn't perform as well as she would right here, but I think... It, okay, I mean, it's just like a couple more extra attacks, that's about it. I, <laughs> I say that it, that's about it, but... I think she's probably the most emulatable Esper here, because if you do have her at... Uh, uh, oh my god, I just wasted my attack. I thought this was a... Uh, I thought it was a seat debuff. If you do have her at R2, she's gonna work perfectly fine, right? And of course, we are using a lot of AoE attacks here just so that we ensure that we explode stuff as much as possible. That's all. That's the goal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, last wave. Let's go. This was like really quite easy. So I think if we do not control any one of the, the two stewards here, we're probably screwed. We managed to get them stunned. And no, 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 wait, 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 this guy, right? Wait, did he take a turn? Okay, yeah, he did, he did. Okay, we are still okay. Ah, shit, I should have targeted this guy. Never mind. Ah, rip. It's a bit hard to see where the seed debuff is when we have the. The whatever you call it, right? That lion debuff thing. I, I keep forgetting what it's called. Now we got this. Easy. Easy clap. That's it. <laughs> 260 done. Let's move on with the surging pillar. Now this team that I showcased before is very free to play emulatable. So it is going to work even if you do not have the resonances on your espers as well. So how this is supposed to work, we are just going to absorb AP at the start land our nether blooms and then start uh, start popping those nether blooms as well okay so from what i can see here we can either go with our second skill or we can go with our third skill for more dps i think i'm gonna go with my second skill this time around just to make sure that we control them like so and just want to wait out our dps a little bit and now we use our dps Alright, second wave, same thing, same combo over here, but we can be more, um, we can use more of our area attacks basically because these enemies are a lot tankier, so we don't have to stinge on using any of our skills, we can just spam everything. So the general rule of thumb is if there are any enemies still above half HP, we will just go ahead and spam our skills because that it, we should have enough time to buy before we need to recharge our skill cooldowns again. So I can use my third skill here because this guy over here has more than 50% HP. That is that. Alright, and now on to the boss wave. Final wave, same thing, same strat. Absorb AP. We just need to kill everything else and I think the Sienna is like perfectly fine. We don't have to worry too much about her, I think. Oh, that's a good silence by the way. Lucky proc over there. So 
So right now I'm actually not going to stun her. Oh shit, I was just saying, man. Uh, okay. Ideally, I do not want to stun her. I do not want to control her. Be can I just pull her sleep? Okay, nice sleep. That's great because she has the panic gaze on her and therefore she's actually able to deal damage to herself. So I'm not going to use Tia to stun her at all. Instead, I want her to use her normal attack and that would do good DPS onto her. Assuming that she can even take a turn in the first place, right? All right, there we go. Yes, GG, that's it, done. Flow 260, done just like that. And now finally, win 260. So this particular flaw has Jin Yuya, which is a major issue for us. And okay, wait, I need to put on some equipment. Okay, you know what? Let me just test the waters for a time being. We might lose because she's going to like return stunts and all that and she's going to hurt. So, okay, so I kind of forgot how my team is supposed to work. Was it just spamming? <laughs> just spamming? Yeah, okay, so I think it was just all about like stunning, slowing, reducing AP, and then just uh, spamming AoE attacks. That's about it. I think this is how it's supposed to work. It's been a while. <laughs> I've been I've been holding up at uh, 260 for quite some time. Okay, so so far so good. Moving on to the second wave. I think this is like, this is really easy, but it's just uh, the Jin Yu Yao that is the problem. Okay, I think I realized something. I shouldn't be using my immunity on my Gabriel at the start. I should absolutely be using my, my defense break. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm still going to use Sienna to stun, and if she returns the stun, I will use Long Mian to, to stun again, to freeze again, right? So let's try this out. Okay, we've got good AP reduction on Junya, so I think we should be okay. For the time being, let's lower her AP again. Nice. Defense break. Let's try, just try to do as much damage as we can for the time being. Because when she returns all of this, we're going to get clapped so hard, man. Yep. We died instantly. Holy shit, we're gonna lose. Oh my god, we are definitely gonna lose. Wow, this is so hard. This is so tough. Okay, wait, 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 wait. let's try this again. Let's try this again. Nice, nice, nice. Good start, good start. Slow her down a bit. Nice. So the whole point of Ashley is just to keep her uh, pushed back a little bit. Oh my god, we don't have our third skill up. Okay, wait. The whole point of Ashley is just to push her back a little bit whenever she gains AP. That is, that's all it's, all she's supposed to do. Push her back, push her back. Nice. Fantastic. Good. So against Junior is really all just about like RNG. That's it. Okay. Okay. Cool. We survived. Nice. No stun, rip. No stun. Oh no. Ah shit. No stun, man. Holy shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Should I use my AP down? Wasted. Well, we are screwed because RNG sucks for us. Sucks for us big time. So, whenever she takes a turn, she's just gonna keep healing, right? So we are, we are kind of, that's it. We are done. Unless somehow we gain insane RNG on Tang Xuan, and that's probably the only way we can win from here on. Wow, I really hate her so much, man. Like whoever designed. Okay, wait. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. AP down. Okay, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Um, should I be... Yeah, she's gonna dispel it anyway. I was thinking of... Oh man, she ruined the defense break. Okay, nice. Very good. We might have this. 
Ah, oh, finally! Oh my god. I actually failed about four times, I think, by now. This is ridiculous. This boss is ridiculous. The Howling Pillar is ridiculous, man. I finally did it, guys. Hooray. So right now, I have 260 done on all the three Calamity Island floors. So I finally caught up with everyone and it was a nightmare and it's extremely difficult, especially for this one over here. But yeah, anyway, how are you guys on your Calamity Island? Are you guys at 260 already? Because I know it has been quite a few months by now. And are you guys excited for more Calamity Island in the future? Maybe 300 floors, 400 floors, who knows, right? Uh, let me know down in the comments below and if you need any help whatsoever, feel free to leave your comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And subscribe for more dislike content. Now that said, this has been Derry Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.